Hey there, Leo. Welcome to your reading for the week of June 3rd. Uh, this week, if you want to catch me live, I go live every single day at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So all you have to do is subscribe, hit the bell notification icon, and you will catch me live. But Leo, what do we have going on for you? Pulling you an extra card. It's like I'm pulling everybody an extra card this week. So uh, let's see what we got going on. Your overall energy is the Nine of Cups. Love it. Some sort of wish. It does seem like a lot of people have been getting these uh, wish cards this week. And so it does feel like there is going to be some sort of a fulfillment or some sort of happiness coming in for you. Some sort of wish. So I feel like you are getting something you wish for, getting something you want this week. Uh, first, you have the Queen of Hearts and the Eight of Diamonds. Yeah, I feel like for some of you, there could be a water sign coming in. Um, you know, again... What I will say is that, um, number one, I always tell people, don't judge people based off their sun sign. It's the worst thing to look at for love. Um, so I always have Leos commenting saying, I would never date a water sign. And I'm always like, okay, stay single then. That's fine. But um, what I would say here is I feel like there could be a water sign coming in for you. What I will say is in your defense, Leo, I, I feel like this is going to require work. So if you are attracted to a, a water sign or if there is a water sign coming in, I feel like it's going to require work, meaning... Like, I feel like there could be some sort of blockage here, like distance, or um, maybe they don't have a lot of time, or maybe you're both very busy. But I feel like it could be a very good relationship. These are very positive cards, so I would say go for it if you need a water sign that you're interested in. For others, just a change of direction. I feel like there's a change in direction of work for you, Leo. So for a lot of you, um, Eight of Diamonds represents material success on the horizon. So... It doesn't say right now, but it does say if you are changing work or business or something in those areas of your life, could it be investments as well? Even if you're retired, it could be like investments or your financial planning or something like that. Uh, it says that in the future, you will see a lot of success. So very good for financial change. Uh, next, you show up. Look at this. Jack, <laughs> like I said, Jack of Hearts. So definitely could be a water sign coming in for you. For some of you, I feel like you have your eye on a water sign. I would say approach. I feel like they see you like this, and I feel like they see a lot of success in this situation. So I would say go for it um, with these two cards. Um, I feel like there could be a lot of success, growth, abundance, good things coming in in this situation, Leo. So I would just go for it with this uh, Jack of Hearts. I feel like make the offer. Uh, for others, I feel like this person is going to make an offer for you. And by the way, Jack of Hearts does not have to be a water sign. It could be any sign. Um, to me, it's just a general admirer card. Uh, next, you have the Jack of Spades. Why is this coming up? Eight of Spades. I do feel like some of you like can't see the future right now is what I feel like saying. Like, I feel like there is a sense of almost, I don't want to say discomfort, but it's almost like that, um, you know that, like, anxiety? I feel like it's really excitement. So some of you could be, like, almost worrying about your future or where your future is headed, but I feel like you need to get rid of those worries. Like, I feel like it's excitement. It's not anxiety. You could be feeling it as anxiety, but I really feel like that's not what it is. So um, I would say don't block yourself. What I will say is that I feel like for some of you, you need to take a break. Um, Eight of Spades is like a card of needing a vacation, needing a break, and it's like a card that says stop spinning your tires, really. It says like if you're finding yourself worrying about money and it's like you're constantly worrying about it, it says maybe you need to focus on something else like other than work and like a hobby or something like that, and maybe that will clear your mind enough to allow you to come up with better ideas on how you can create improvements. Same thing with love and you know anything else that you're dealing with. Uh, next, in your challenge position, you have the Joker and the Four of Hearts. Yeah, love could be a challenge for some of you, or maybe dating is a challenge with the Joker here. Uh, the Joker is like taking a leap of faith. So again, maybe it's a water sign that comes in, or maybe it's some other type of sign that comes into your life that you're like, I would never date a whatever, X, Y, and Z, right? So this says take the leap of faith. Don't be afraid to take the leap with somebody, especially if there's interest there. For others, again, this could be fears of taking a leap towards a new beginning. Um, I feel like this is because of your solution card, which is very positive, by the way, to this challenge. Um, I feel like for some of you, it's like the past. Um, like experiences from the past. It's almost like you have a PTSD, you know, literally. For some of you, this could be literal PTSD, but for others, I feel like it's almost like you're just kind of gun-shy in a certain situation in your life um, with this Fool card. Your solution is the Six of Hearts and the Five of Clubs. Yeah, Six of Hearts is a turnaround. It says that in the past, things did not work out in your life, probably in a lot of different areas for you, Leo. And this says now there's a turnaround. Six of Hearts to me is the card of obstacles being lifted. It says you maybe tried to do something like start a business, get a different job, start a relationship, and it didn't work out. This card basically just says try again. It's a card that says now things will work out better than they did in the first place. Five of Clubs, again, is a card I used to call Indiana Jones. To me, it represents going on some sort of crazy adventure in your life that's going to ultimately lead to treasure. That's going to lead to you finding success. Five of Clubs is also the card of the millionaire. It doesn't say that you will become a millionaire, but it does say 
there's a lot of financial potential in the near future. So it just says like, keep working, keep moving forward. Six of hearts can be a card of blindness. It can be a card that says, again, you do not see the future. We just talked about this. So it just says, keep doing what you're doing Think and just trust. And I know that's hard to do. Trust, trust me, Leo. But you know, again, I feel like you just need to trust that things are working out for you. This is a very good card for socializing. By the way, if you're, if you're looking for love, it just popped into my head. I feel like socializing would be a very good idea for you. You know, going out with friends, uh, you know, going into social opportunities. You could even be interested in somebody on social media with that card uh, next you have the five of hearts and the queen of diamonds i, I do not what's, know what's going on with this card right here it's come up for almost everybody five of hearts is a card of um uh jealousy from other people if people are jealous or gossiping in your life i would say this to me represents jealousy or gossip to be ignored Queen of Diamonds is a card of gossip, so you could be afraid of people talking about you. Just ignore it. Don't even play into it. This literally says if you ignore it, it will go away. Uh, for others, I feel like you could be afraid of what people will think. So I feel like you need to stop worrying about what other people think about your life. And you know, I feel like you are the only one that can kind of create uh, the same message. By the way, came up for Virgo. It's like it's your life. It's not your parents' life. It's not your friend's life. It's not other people's life life right so it's like this right here says you need to not care what other people think about you and you need to live your life and and that's it so that's what i feel there and finally you have the six of clubs three diamonds be careful of your paperwork especially if you're doing something le with legal paperwork this card just says double check everything you do it says you could be missing something not a bad card but an annoying card so i'd be careful of that six of clubs card of incremental improvements yeah i feel like some of you need to let go of something here but um all in all, very positive card. It's a card of incremental improvements. It says you are going to start noticing step-by-step -step improvements in your life. So that looks really good, Leo. Yeah, I feel like you're letting go of things here, Leo. Yeah, there could be new love coming in for you as well. But overall, looks very positive. So thank you for watching and enjoy your week.